Coming up, 51 degrees right now at 502, and the battle of butts and boos played out during yesterday's primary elections and won. The unofficial results show 56% approve of the tax extension, but nearly 79,000 people voted no. Stephanie Ramirez joining us live this morning outside Progressive Field uh, to explain really what this means moving forward. Break this down, Steph. Yeah, Josh, well, with issue seven uh, now passing, we're now giving major sports venues, Cleveland's major sports venues, like Progressive Fields here, the next 20 years of support from Cuyahoga County taxpayers so they can make those needed repairs inside. The party started earlier yesterday celebrating this win with those city and county leaders saying it is worth it. The reason City Council President Kevin Kelly says since the city owns these venues, money to fund those repairs would have to come from the city's general fund if the city tax wasn't passed and the general fund he says supports Cleveland's police fire and so forth now not everyone is in agreement with the sin tax being passed but those who are say with the upgrades already here uh, Playhouse Square the convention center the sin tax will only add to the growth and future success of downtown Cleveland over the years we've had a tremendous public private partnership with our our partners at the city and the county and today was just another extension of what we've seen take place since the Cavaliers made their way from uh, Richfield and the hinterlands of Summit County down to downtown and we you know it's exciting to see because Cleveland is on a roll. And Mayor Jackson actually issued a statement as well saying with Cuyahoga County taxpayers passing issue seven he says it's providing continued support for the positive momentum happening in Cleveland end quote back to you guys there Macy and Josh.